Coming into 2019, the battle between Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel at Ferrari was one we were eagerly awaiting for. And so far, it hasn't disappointed. As in 2019, they've both been closely matched, but who has been the better driver? Well, in today's video, I'm going to look at both drivers' respective seasons and how they've done against one another. And determine who has been the better driver in 2019. Now before we get into a direct comparison of skills in 2019, let's first look at how the two drivers have looked against one another as the season has gone on. Because it hasn't just been domination by one driver over the other. It has ebbed and flowed really as the season has gone on and has changed most of the time based on how the car's been performing. As we'll get on to later on, but at the start of the season, which I'd say was the first seven races... Sebastian Vettel was definitely on top of teammate Charles Leclerc, as Charles was still trying to get used to the team and the car, and a couple times was pushing a bit too hard in trying to impress for his new team Ferrari. But I think in the first seven races, if you look at it, except really for Bahrain and Baku, where Leclerc I think on pace was faster, Sebastian was the faster driver more consistently. In Australia, he was clearly faster than Charles Leclerc, even though at the end of the race, Leclerc did catch up. Vettel also had the pace on Leclerc in Shanghai. I think he also did just about in Spain, and in Monaco, we can't quite tell, because Ferrari screwed over Charles Leclerc so horribly. But in Canada, one of Sebastian Vettel's best weekends of 2019 so far... That was really the turning point of the two drivers' seasons because Sebastian was performing at a very high level at this point of the season and Charles Leclerc was just nowhere near close enough to teammate Vettel. But after that, all things really did change. As Charles Leclerc started to correct a weakness he had in the first seven races which was not quite getting qualifying together to go on and have a better weekend. And he started to put that right in Paul Ricard and Austria and Silverstone where his race results improved because his qualifying results improved. While Sebastian Vettel was having some bad luck but was also falling out of favour with the car. As the car just was not suiting what Sebastian needs from a racing car. And up until the summer break I would say Charles Leclerc was probably the better driver. Again Sebastian Vettel was unlucky on a couple of occasions but I think Charles Leclerc was quicker and was better in that time period. But if you also combine the first seven races in the first half of the season overall, it was basically 50-50. But in the two races following the summer break, Charles Leclerc got his first and second race victories of his Formula 1 career. And this of course so far would be the peak of Leclerc's season, as after that Sebastian Vettel then got his first win in over a year in Singapore as his Singapore weekend turned his performance around. And ever since Singapore, really, Sebastian Vettel has not been great, or I'd say as good as he was in the first seven or eight races, but he has been quite a lot better than he was around Silverstone. Hasn't always been consistent, he hasn't always got the entire weekend together. There has been some good moments, such as pole at Suzuka, some good races here and there, where he's done really the best he can, but it's not been as good as it could have been for Sebastian Vettel. And I would say that Charles Leclerc since the Singapore Grand Prix, where he was, I guess from his point of view, robbed of the race victory, things have not really gone his way. And I also don't think he is driving as well as he was before that race. He was unlucky for sure in Singapore and Russia to not go and get those race victories, but at Suzuka, he caused his own downfall. But then again in Mexico he did the best he could but was completely destroyed again by Ferrari's horrible strategy. Then at the US Grand Prix he did the best he could with what was an ailing car. And because of his 10 place penalty in the Brazilian Grand Prix that race was never going to be great anyway. The best he could have done in that race with a safety car was going to be P3. And at time of recording before the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix it's very difficult to say who has had the better season. I mean, Charles Leclerc is ahead of Sebastian in the World Championship by about 20-odd points, but that doesn't tell the whole story. And that certainly does not decide absolutely for me who has been better in 2019. But after giving it some deep thought, I think you'd have to give it to Charles Leclerc as having the better season and being the better driver in 2019. And I think this comparison of the first 20 races does just about illustrate why Charles Leclerc has... For me just about been the better driver 
because he has so far one more race victory, five more pole positions, and has outqualified Vettel in 2019. Now he has been outraged by Sebastian Vettel and that has been Charles Leclerc's biggest weakness against Vettel in 2019 but if you look at everything I think Leclerc has just about been the better driver. And if we now go into their respective skills and look at how Leclerc and Vettel have done in certain areas I think you'll see why. For example, when it comes to qualifying, Charles Leclerc has been the better driver in the first seven races. Again, he was not quite as quick as his teammate, but since the French Grand Prix, Charles Leclerc has clearly been faster. And in fact, since the French Grand Prix, Sebastian Vettel has only outqualified Leclerc three times. So that just shows you the improvement Leclerc made to his qualifying after that Grand Prix. With Sebastian Vettel, he has been in this area a bit inconsistent. On his day, he can get the lap together and be very, very quick. We know that. But compared to teammate Leclerc, he just doesn't have enough raw speed to be faster. And it's certainly not as fast as he used to be back in his Red Bull days. When it comes to the races, I think in terms of general race pace, you'd have to give it to Sebastian Vettel because I think Vettel can be a bit more consistent in that area. It's not necessarily that Charles Leclerc is slower than Sebastian Vettel with race fuel on board. It's just that Sebastian is more consistent in managing the tyres and managing the car. And is able to be more consistently quick over the course of a Grand Prix. As we saw, for example, the Hungarian Grand Prix where Sebastian, because he managed his car better and was more consistent, was able to pass Leclerc for the podium. And really with Leclerc, compared to Vettel, that's the only big weakness I've seen from Charles Leclerc is... His race pace isn't exactly great at all times and he does have to work on his tyre wear and consistency. But I'm sure Charles will improve in that area. And when it comes to pace in the wet, really this season we haven't seen that much wet running to be honest. The only real wet session we've seen that's really mattered was the race at Hockenheim. And in that race, Leclerc was faster than Vettel. Despite him crashing out of that Grand Prix, but because we haven't had enough wet sessions that have mattered in 2019, I don't think we can definitively say who is faster in the wet weather. And now let's get on to the racing aspect. Now for overtaking, it's quite difficult to say because there hasn't been one driver out of this pairing that has shone clearly above the other in terms of overtaking. Leclerc has had a couple of very good overtakes, but so has Sebastian Vettel. But based on this season, I'd probably say Charles Leclerc for performances like he had in Bahrain, for example. And a couple of his overtakes at Monaco when he was coming through the pack were also very good until he had his accident. But when it comes to defending their position, I don't really think that's a debate. It has to go to Charles Leclerc because one, his performance in Silverstone was unbelievable. To keep Max Verstappen behind for so long as Max Verstappen was on faster tyres, was probably the faster driver at that point of the Grand Prix, in a faster car, to keep him behind for that long and to fight so hard to be in that position, you've got to commend Charles Leclerc very highly for that. Because most drivers would not have kept up the fight for that long against Max Verstappen who was in a very quick car that day. And it actually turned out that the only reason Charles Leclerc lost position eventually to Max Verstappen was because Ferrari, as usual, messed up the strategy. And that just shows you how great that performance was, but also his performance at the Italian Grand Prix defensively as well was superb. He did go, in my opinion, a bit overboard on one occasion. But again, I think most drivers in Formula 1 would have wilted under that pressure from Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas for the win of the Italian Grand Prix. But he did so well to keep calm, keep his car most of the time in the right part of the track and just about stay ahead without cracking under pressure. He has had his moments of poor defence though, for example in Austria, I still think he could have done better to defend the lead against Max Verstappen, but he showed... Very importantly, improvement after that mistake. And when it comes to Sebastian Vettel, when it comes to defending, he's not really that great at it. As Sebastian still cracks under pressure when racing people or defending his position. Bahrain and Canada are just two clear examples of that. Even though in Canada I don't think he deserved the penalty, he still cracked under pressure. And I know he wasn't necessarily defending his position and going offline to defend his line, but... 
He was in a defensive mode of that part of the race because Lewis Hamilton was clearly faster and again he cracked under pressure. And given the balance of the season I think it has shown that it has been harder to pass Charles Leclerc on track than it has been for Sebastian Vettel. And when it comes to mentality it's not as clear in one driver's favour as you'd think. I am going to give it to Charles Leclerc mentally because I still think Sebastian Vettel does have his deficiencies but so does Charles Leclerc. If we think back to Singapore or Russia or Suzuka, Charles Leclerc's hot-headedness really did get in the way and did show a lack of maturity, but then again, he's 21, you would expect that. But again, because of certain performances like Monza and Silverstone where he's had to really be calm, keep his position and fight very hard for position, I think Charles Leclerc in 2019 mentally has proved to be the better driver in that area. Sebastian Vettel is still suffering from the same issues. Whenever he gets more pressure put on him, he makes more mistakes. And after the crash in Brazil between the two drivers, it's been proven that he still blames other people for his own trouble, when he has, in my opinion at least, clearly been at fault. And I really don't think you could provide an argument that Sebastian Vettel mentally has improved at all. But with Charles Leclerc, he's had his moments where he's not been that great mentally, but also, again, in races where he's had to be very tough mentally, he's been able to shine. And after all of that, I think you'd have to say Charles Leclerc, in 2019, has been the better driver. Again, it's not been dominant. Charles Leclerc has not completely obliterated Sebastian Vettel, but Charles has been better. And if I was Ferrari, I would start to back Charles Leclerc for the future because Sebastian Vettel is clearly not improving and is not going in the right direction. Despite Leclerc's flaws, he's young. He is going somewhere. And he will, Charles Leclerc, if he does get put in the right car at the right time, he can win a world championship. I'm not entirely sure you can say the same for Sebastian Vettel because, again, he just isn't the driver he was. And I think after this season where Sebastian had to prove himself against Charles Leclerc if he was going to continue Sebastian to lead the team forward, has proven to Ferrari that he's no longer the man for Ferrari. And I think it's now about time that Charles Leclerc is looked at as a number one driver for Ferrari. I'm not saying Sebastian should be a clear number two, but Charles Leclerc again is clearly the future and is looking the better driver. But guys, let me know in the comments section down below. Who for you has been the better driver in 2019, Charles Leclerc or Sebastian Vettel, and for what reasons? And also guys, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. My next video is coming out tomorrow, which is going to preview what lineups you could see in 2021. So until that video, guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. goodbye.